Twins are genetic marvels, and there's more to them than most people know. Getting pregnant is not an easy task, and when you think about it, that makes sense. Of some 200 million sperm released at once, only 100,000 ever get a chance to reach the womb. And out of these 100,000 sperm, only one lucky swimmer might get a chance to fertilize an egg, which might result in a successful pregnancy. But, as difficult as it may be to get pregnant, sometimes people get a little extra lucky. Very rarely, two sperms manage to fertilize an egg, and this is where twins come from. Of course, there are cases where many more sperm are able to hit their targets, leading to triplets, quadruplets, and even more. But for today's discussion, let's focus on twins, because believe me, there is plenty to talk about. When we think of the word twin, we think of two things being the same, but ironically, there are different types of twins. Typically, twins are of two types. In the first type, a single sperm fertilizes a single egg, which then divides, making two identical babies. Identical twins are genetic doppelgangers, sharing the same sex, eye color, and hair color. They look so similar that the untrained eye would not be able to tell two identical twins apart. Another type of twins are known as dizygotic twins, which form when two separate sperms fertilize two separate eggs in the womb. These twins are not identical and are more common than identical twins. Really, they are just two regular siblings that happen to be born at the same time. Finally, there is another, far less common type of twins. When two sperms fertilize a single egg, it results in another kind of twinning known as semi-identical twins. And this is one of genetics most fascinating events. Semi-identical twins are half-identical and half-non-identical. They can be of different sexes and have different genetic makeups. Such twins have the same genes from their mother and different genes from their father. And what's more, semi-identical twins have three sets of chromosomes, rather than the standard two found in essentially all humans. They have one set from the mother and two sets of chromosomes from the father. Again, semi-identical twins are rare, and I mean very rare. There have only ever been two known cases of semi-identical twins. The first documented case of half-identical twins was in the United States in 2007. And back then, researchers thought it was the only case of such a twinning to occur. Now, researchers have identified the second set of semi-identical twins in the world. The now four-year-old boy and girl are identical on their mother's side, sharing 100% of their mother's DNA, but are like regular siblings on their father's side, sharing only a portion of their father's DNA. We know that such a twinning is not common, but what causes this rare event to occur? Is it pure chance, or perhaps there is some underlying genetic mechanism at play? Researchers are not sure what causes semi-identical twinning, but they hypothesize that depending on when the actual twinning event took place, there are two ways this could have happened. In the first scenario, the egg might have divided in two without separating, and then each part was fertilized by one sperm. However, egg division before fertilization is extremely rare. The second, more likely possibility is that the egg fused with two sperm cells and then created a triploid cell. Then, at the second cell stage, each shed the chromosomes from each of the sperms or did something to correct its chromosomal count. This chromosomal count is what makes semi-identical twins such a medical marvel. Three sets of chromosomes are typically incompatible with life. Embryos carrying this number of chromosomes typically do not survive pregnancy. But, researchers say never say never in biology. With a growing number of twin births around the world, perhaps we will see a higher number of semi-identical twins. Only time will tell.